up guys this week's video is a studio vlog artist vlog small business vlog there's a lot of voiceover i'm just warning you now it was just really hard for me to look presentable enough to like be on camera and talk so i, I tried to record as best i could but like they are not aesthetic this video is not aesthetic this is like a grind video inspiration for your small business or if you're just curious you know behind the scenes of what i do anyways let, let's get out to the onto the studio vlog because So here I am making the shrinky dinks. I got the paper from Hobby Lobby, but honestly, just look around at the craft stores near you. You'd be surprised on where you can find them. And for the marker here, I'm using a Sharpie paint marker. It's like oil-based, but I would not recommend because my last marker blew up on me. So I just bought some Posca markers. We'll see how those work on the paper. And of course, I'm doing Nana keychains. Like, are we surprised? No, we're not surprised. Literally every video, I can't go without mentioning Nana once. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. A mistake I made the first time I was making these was that I took out the charms too soon and they weren't flat enough. If this happens to you, that means you haven't baked them for long enough. They should be completely flat by the time they're done. If not, you can use a spatula. I love how detailed these are for being so tiny. I think that's what makes it really special. Here's me eating my favorite breakfast which is just a egg taco it's only eggs don't judge my paper plate i hate doing dishes <laughs> I am interrupting the voiceover marathon uh, to give you a PSA that nobody ever told me. Okay, maybe they did tell me, but like, I, I like, I, in case you need to hear it again, if you're watching this video, you're probably curious or interested in the idea of a small business, or maybe you already have one. If you're just starting, please keep your receipts for everything you purchase that goes to your business. All the supplies, all the packing materials, everything, all the receipts, keep them 
even if right now you haven't made a single sale but you're buying the supplies for it i would start now because once you make over six hundred dollars you are required to file your taxes nobody wants to hear this talk i was like i hate math i'm not gonna think about it i won't sell that much and then like a couple weeks ago depop emailed me and was like hey we're gonna send you your 1099 form to file your taxes and i was like oh my gosh there's no way like i just i wasn't thinking about it so yeah that's kind of i didn't keep any receipts because i didn't think i was gonna be making a lot and now here we are in a predicament and if you're new to this like me you're probably like why do i need to keep my receipts like i hear youtubers talk about tax deductions like what all is this you know i still have no clue <laughs> but so let's say right theoretically you made a million dollars okay well if you have an art small business or any business really you have to spend money to make money right so if you make art you need your canvases your jewelry making supplies you know shipping labels packing all that all that's money you spend for your business so you didn't make a million dollars you more so made like eight hundred thousand okay so from my understanding is that you need proof to say hey i spent two hundred thousand dollars on all this stuff so I really didn't make a million. I, you want them to tax you for what you actually made and not everything, including the stuff that wasn't profit. Does that make sense? Nobody, I watch a lot, okay? I watch a lot of studio vlogs and nobody ever talks about this. So I just started and I was like, I'm gonna be like all the other YouTubers and then, and then adulthood hit me. <laughs> After I file my taxes this year, maybe maybe I'll talk about it in my next studio vlog and explain everything else I learned because this is a whole learning process. I'm learning so much this year. I learned that university is way harder than community college. I learned, well, I need to keep my receipts. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Okay, PSA over. Uh, keep your receipts. Hey, Hachi. No matter how much or how often people hurt each other. Loving someone is never a waste. That love letter you left for me back then, I still cherish it.
well you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and your support it means so much to me i'm so happy i appreciate you letting me just ramble about all the things i love now for your verse of the day this is not a very fluffy verse but i read it and i was like dang like i gotta share that okay i'm reading isaiah 1 through 3 around there isaiah's pretty crazy my mom loves isaiah she's always talking about it it reads what sorrow awaits my rebellious children says the lord you make plans that are contrary to mine you make alliances not directed by my spirit, thus piling up your sins. For without consulting me, you have gone down to Egypt for help. You have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection. You have tried to hide in his shade. But by trusting Pharaoh, you will be hum humiliated. And by depending on him, you will be disgraced. I think that speaks a lot to like selfishness and doing what you want to do, you know? I guess I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.